What's up ladies and gentlemen, Sergeant M. In my second video of the Ken Dryden uh, Canadians Hockey Team Custom Xbox 360, um, I'll put a, uh, uh, an overlay of the um, uh, concept uh, up just in case you guys didn't see the previous video of what this thing's going to look like in the end, but uh, you can see the Canadians Hockey logo on there and I've got some... Uh, Got some masking done on that one, um, and the the uh, the other side as well as the uh, faceplate. Now the way I started doing this was I laid some frisket down and traced out um, the logo that I need on there, and uh, decided that uh, yeah that's that's really going to be a pain to hand cut. But uh, a friend of mine, Dave, on uh, Facebook saw what I was doing and um, offered so graciously to cut this out. Final. Oh, he's a lifesaver. Dave, thanks, man. I appreciate it if you're watching this. So there you can see it's all computer cut out of vinyl, paint mask. There's the logo. And then further on down the roll, there's the Dryden and number, who was he, 29? Yeah, 29. So there we go. This is going to get on one side, actually on this side here, that's going to get the Dryden and the number 29. And this one is going to be the uh, Canadian Hockey logo. And then the uh, the front face mask is just, the front uh, face plate is just going to be a... Uh, uh, red, white, and blue. So, still got a lot of masking to do uh, yet on this, but I figured I'd give you guys an update, uh, show you where I am on the project. I do have the controllers done. Uh, they're not cleared yet. And actually, I just emailed my company. I said, hey, um, you know, this red and this blue, it's really, for me, kind of flat, kind of boring, kind of dull. So, let's go ahead and kick this up a little bit. And what we're gonna actually going to be doing is I'm going to take some AutoAir Gem Shift ruby put that on the red and gem shift um, sapphire put that on the blue parts and what that's going to do is it's going to give it a little sparkle it's going to just kind of make the controls a little more interesting than just the flat uh, blue and red uh, paint on there and of course as with all of my xbox projects this will get a uh, two or three good coats of automotive clear coat now that's what sets my projects apart from everybody else everybody else you see out there on youtube selling controllers, selling custom cases, they are using an acrylic spray can clear. That's this stuff right there, okay? The stuff I'm going to be using is automotive two-part clear. So it's mixed. It's a two-part mixture. Okay, I use Matrix MS-52 clear coat. And this is the same stuff that I would spray if I was doing somebody's car, somebody's bike, a truck, four-wheeler, ATV, whatever. So it's going to be ultra, ultra durable. Okay, you put these, you put a spray can clear on these controllers, and you start playing them. That clear is eventually going to fail from the oils in your hands, and you know, just general, you know, if you're eating chips or some snacks or whatever, that's going to get all over the controllers. Yeah, it's going to be kind of kind of hard to uh, to clean off without um, somehow adversely affecting the uh, the controller. Same thing if you look at this True Fire case. That's a two part clear. Now this was a Spray Max clear coat. If you watch the video on that one, that was a Spray Max clear coat, but still a two part automotive clear coat that's on this case. Same stuff that goes on your car. So I actually got this one back from a buddy of mine. I had to do a photo shoot with it. But um, maybe more, some more on that later on. But uh, for now, we're looking at the uh, Canadian Hockey Team Custom Xbox 360. Uh, Ken Dryden, his uh, his number and his name is going to go on on this one. And again, big thank you to Dave, aka Knievel, uh, for for cutting this out for me. I, it's it's uh, really going to save me a lot of time in uh, masking and cutting. So, uh, Eddie, if you're, if you're watching this, you're my customer. Eddie, check it out. This is, uh, you know, 
you can see even in the uh, even just in the uh, the hand traced uh, logo that it's not perfect now yeah when I cut it out I probably could have gone and, and, and cleaned those lines up or, or whatever but you know I really want to uh, I really pride myself in, in my work and and the, the the vinyl you know I paid a couple bucks for it not a big deal um, it, it's worth it to, to give to give my customer um, uh, you know a better product so uh, a better end result so there's uh, some of the pre preliminary masking uh, the vinyls obviously not laid late on I, I got a lot to do uh, as you can see in the concept rendering got some uh, some red white and blue striping going on here actually I have some uh, some points on there that uh, that's masked up so I know what's white what's blue and then this area is going to be red this is going to be white red red white and then um, the uh, letters and stuff will be white with well you guys look at the concept running I, I, <laughs> that explains it better than, than I really could out of my head right now so since I don't have it in front of me but um, there you go check it out comment on the video leave me some feedback click like favorite subscribe all that fun stuff thanks a lot for checking it out I'm Sergeant M I will see you next time later